A lot of people continue driving well into their senior years, but the normal effects of aging can make driving more challenging, which may be why, in part, crash rates gradually increase after people reach the age of 70. Because there's no definitive age cutoff for driving, it can be difficult to tell when you or a loved one should uh, give up the keys. Consumer Reports looks into the, the dilemma. Melanie, several factors can play a role in that decision. Yeah, no doubt about it. Our senses dull over the years, making it harder to hear car horns or emergency sirens or read traffic signs. Those reflexes can also slow. It might take more time to react to changing traffic patterns or challenging road conditions. Medical problems also can play a role. For example, osteoarthritis can make it harder to turn your neck to check for blind spots or grip and turn the steering wheel. So when is it time to take the keys back or cut back on some of the driving? Consumer Reports did some research. The warning signs include when you are getting into more car wrecks or fender benders, you get more traffic tickets, you get a little confused while driving, like forgetting how to get to familiar places or mixing up the gas and brake pedals. That is so dangerous. Now, in some cases, adjusting your driving patterns can help like choosing to only drive during the day or avoiding rush hour. Now, if the driver is determined to keep the keys, there are ways that you can help keep them safe. Check the medications. Some might affect driving. So if they're on them, you definitely need to consider how they affect the person. Stay up to date on eyeglass prescriptions and hearing aids. Also, make sure your car is working the way the driver needs it to work. For example, you could add rear view cameras blind spot monitoring systems, and audio or visual alerts that let drivers know what's around them.